Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about um, all about my favorite affordable face brushes. This is not going to include eye brushes, but if you guys would want to see an eye brush uh, favorites video, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will definitely do it. I do not have that video planned, so yeah, I only have the favorite um, face brushes, but if you guys would want to see the eye brushes, I would be more than happy to do that video for you guys. Now, before I get started into the video, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit that subscription button so you become part of the quad. And yeah, make sure to go follow me on all my social media. I have everything in the description box. Don't forget to read that because I also have affiliate links on there. And yeah, let's get started with the video. So to do your makeup, I don't find that you need like necessary stapled brushes. I feel like um, with one set of brushes, you can use them for many purposes. That's just my opinion. But I'm gonna go ahead and start off um, with foundation brushes, which is like my favorite. So the first brush that I wanna talk about, which is my absolutely holy grail brush for foundation, is the Morphe G1 brush. And the reason why I like it is because it's so small and compact that it fits every little corner everywhere I need it to and it's not too big where it's gonna like you know be too messy all over my face as well as a beauty blender or a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge either or but if I want a more full coverage foundation a more full coverage face I will definitely go in with a brush and this is the brush that I would go in with this is what the brush looks like up close this is the Morphe G1 I believe it's from like the metal line, but this is how the brush looks like. I obviously used it right now. And also, I have a, two more foundation brushes that I want to mention real quickly. The first one is the Morphe M444, and the other one is the M439, which they're both similar, except that the Morphe M439, it's a much more buffer. They do buff the product in really nicely, but... I do find that if you're on the go and you're in a hurry and you want something super fast application like a BB cream or something like that, I feel like these would be perfect for that. But since I'm always wearing a full coverage glam, um, I prefer the MG1. Or, you know, longer, it has more bristles. And this one is much more compact. So you can see the difference. In case I'm in a rush and I'm in a hurry and I just want, you know, BB cream all over my face or spot conceal all over my face, this is what I would go to. But other than that, I would definitely go with my Morphe G1. I'm going to go in with my bronzer brushes, which I am, you know, obsessed with. The first one that I have that I really, really love to kind of give me that chiseled line on my cheeks and to kind of make it like more precise. I don't want to say harsh because that's kind of like not the word to use, but just a more precise line would be the Real Techniques, and this is the Sculpting Brush, and it does have a slanted side to it, which is why I love it, because it kind of like, it's perfect to chisel my cheekbones with this, kind of like make that, let's call it harsh line, and then I like to go in with my BH Cosmetics 114 brush, which is exactly the same, but it's more, more it's much more buffered, and this is what I actually used to distribute the product or to blend the contour or bronzer. Um, in the Jaclyn Favorites brushes, I did get the R2, which is a much more bigger brush and she uses it to bronze. I just feel like this is way too big for my face. It's humongous to bronze with. And I just feel like the product would go all over the place. Besides, um, this one is, is much more affordable and it can definitely like, you know, like, get the product right in there and give it that very even and seamless blend. And this is what the brush looks like up close. As you can see, it has a slanted side. And actually, these brushes from the BH Cosmetics Gold line, they do come in a whole set with eye brushes as well. I am an affiliate with them in case you want to use my link. I would definitely leave it down below in case you just want to check them out. They're really, really affordable. And I absolutely love it. It's the brushes that I started doing my makeup with. I didn't even know anything about Morphe. Um, this is the first brand that I reach out to. And I absolutely love it. I stand by the brand. I do find that when I wash my... I'm going to show you up close because I want you to see something. I do find that when I wash my Morphe eye brushes, they go like this. The bristles go all over the place. 
and the black ones started giving me black stains. I have nothing against Morphe. There's a lot of brushes that I love from the brand itself, but I do feel like the quality is not as good as, you know, Jaclyn Hill says. That's just my opinion. Um, I do find these brushes, I have about nine months with them, and only one bristle is like out of place. I'm going to show you up close. They're really, really soft, and as you can see, there's a hair right here that's just one, but they're really, really soft. I do find that BH Cosmetics brushes do have much more better quality. I do not know where they're made, um, where they're made at, but I do find that they last longer when I, when I wash them, and I just find that they're a little better quality bristles than Morphe. Nothing against Morphe. That's just my opinion. I do have another one from Morphe in case you don't want to buy this one or the BH Cosmetics one. And this is the Morphe R10. This is the Morphe R10, which is also, you can also chisel your cheekbones with this one. But as you can see, the shape of this one is a little bit different than my Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques or the BH Cosmetics that have a slanted side that can actually like capture your cheekbones, you know, real nice and give you that nice edge as you can see my contour looks really nice thanks to those brushes next I have two brushes by Morphe in case you want to like cream contour and make your contour like really really harsh and you're all about that contour life which I'm not I kind of just use bronzer to contour and that's how I go about my day but this is the Morphe M460 and this one it's just it looks like a painting brush as you can see but this one will like definitely give you that harsh line that you're looking for and then go back in there and blend it with your beauty blender or something like that in case you're using cream products this is a really good one um, next up I have my BH Cosmetics 113 brush which is my holy grail for blush you guys have seen me use it a million times here on my channel even before I became an affiliate with BH Cosmetics I'm gonna go ahead and show you up close what it looks like it's just a very fluffy brush and it's not too big I just absolutely love it. These brushes look dirty because I just used them on my face today, but I actually did wash them so I can show you guys, you know, much more cleaner brush. Next up, if you are all about that powder life and you're all about that, you know, baking life and all about that, I do recommend the Morphe E41 brush. This one I washed it and the bristles did not get, um, the bristles did not get damaged or anything like that. They didn't go all over the place like my white hair brushes and my black hair brushes. I do find that the Elite Collection brushes are much more better and they last much more longer and the bristles do not get damaged. I do see the difference from my eye brushes from the Elite Collection and from the Rose Gold Collection which are the white hair brushes. I do see the difference in the hairs going all over the place on the white ones. I just feel like the Elite Collection brushes last a lot longer. And this brush is actually the size of my hand. I feel like it is perfect for powder as you can see it's super super big. This one is perfect to like dust the powder all over your face or just like powder your face if you're in a hurry. I absolutely love this brush for that. Next up, I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush, which is my holy grail, my one and only favorite highlighting brush by BH Cosmetics. I have tried a lot of brushes from Morphe for highlighting. Um, I even have the holy grail, the M5110 by Jaclyn Hill. Well, the one that Jaclyn Hill uses to um, highlight. And I did not like it. I feel like the bristles just go all over the place. They go everywhere. As you can see, the difference between the two is that this one is much more compact and much more smaller. And that way it will catch everything nice and even. As you can see, the big difference between them. And I'm going to show you this brush up close. So you can see why I love it so much. It looks like a blending brush, but I absolutely love it to highlight. It just gives me the perfect highlighting blendability here. I like to highlight and I recently discovered in my Morphe Me Glam Bag is the M438, which looks like this. And I, this one's also in the Jaclyn Hill Favorites bundle, but she uses this to remove under eye powder, which it's also good for that, but I also like it to highlight. I feel like it just gets in there really, really good on top of your cheekbones. I've just been loving this brush for that. So those two are my holy grails for highlighting. And this is the Morphe E47 brush that looks like this. This is probably like the most weird brush out there ever. And this one is perfect to contour your nose with. Let me tell you that. If you want that perfect little 
chiseled daisy mark as nose you need this brush in your life because it will definitely like give you the perfect contour for your nose i don't really contour my nose because my nose is kind of like chubby and i don't know how to contour it yet so i'm kind of like practicing on that you know but this brush is absolutely amazing for that. And lastly, my Holy Grail brush for everything. This I feel like this is a multi-purpose brush. I can use it to apply blush, to contour, for my bronzer, for just anything highlight. I've even used it for highlight as well. And this is the Small Contour Brush by Sephora. It's not too small to where you can't do anything. It's just the perfect size to you know use it for various things i really really like this brush that is actually the end of this video if you guys are interested in looking at the bh cosmetics bundle it's really really affordable i believe it's like 10.99 and the brush quality is amazing um the elite collection from morphe is also really good so i will leave all the brush names down below just in case you're interested in one of them. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on all my social media. When I'm not here, I'm on Instagram and Snapchat. So go follow me there. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.